Hey there, in this presentation, I will do my best to make sense of UL certification and, and the various UL marks and symbols that you likely seen in the past. So quite a lot of ground to cover in this video. Um, first, I will introduce you to UL certification or UL certified, UL listed, UL classified, UL recognized component. Why UL certification and marks are important. And finally, if these programs are mandatory. And that's really a key question when it comes to, to understanding UL. There's a lot of misunderstandings, some of which I hope I will clarify. Or be able to clarify. All right, so let's begin by looking at UL certified. So UL certified, my understanding is that it refers to the UL enhanced certification mark and products. And what I'm referring to now is, is Finnish consumer products. Okay. Could be this microphone or this mouse, I reckon must meet certain requirements to attain UL listed, classified or performance verified mark for the United States and, and in Canada. And in order to get this mark, you also need to be verified well the product must be verified through lab testing so that's ul certified and i say it's related to other say certification schemes or um, processes that i will get to right now the other one that we have is ul listed this one is also quite common so you will a ul listed product must pass testing according to the applicable UL standards. If you want to learn more about UL standards, then we have another video on that topic. But essentially it comes down to testing. You have to, well, you can in this case, affix the UL listed mark on the product or change it to UL certified mark. It's a bit confusing, but my understanding is that at this time in, in, in 2022, when we did this research, this is sort of in transition. So they're updating the programs. That's my understanding anyway. And testing once is not enough. You need to also follow up with the compliance pro with the compliance program. Something that's interesting is that there's also a database where you can search UL listed products. So this is relevant if you're sourcing products, say from suppliers on Alibaba Global Sources. And I haven't tried it myself, uh, but I know that some of our customers they have successfully identified suppliers that have UL listed products and thus been able to to buy products that are already uh, safety and compliance tested for the North American market. So that's, that's, uh, that's neat. I'm not I'm sure how they actually verify it's actually the same product. Also, okay, don't quote me on that. There might be a lot more to it that I haven't taken into consideration. Okay, then we have UL classified. This one is a bit different. Now this means that UL classified, what this means is that UL has received samples for testing and has tested these for specific properties. Okay, this could be certain conditions or a limited range of safety risks. Okay, so whereas my understanding of UL listed would be well a full scope of UL compliance, whereas this is to well for certain usage it could be a machine that's tested according to certain usage because the company is only selling it in in a certain market or something. I'm just guessing now. Okay. Right. When using the UL classified mark, a couple of statements, including the scope, the specific scope of the classification must be present. And I guess that's on the product and the packaging. Okay. So it can make sense in, in, in some situations. I guess you wouldn't see this very often with consumer goods though, with consumer electronics, but not everything is for consumers though. All right. Then we've got UL recognized components. This is um, another very important one because understanding this can really save you a lot of money and testing fees. So com components are parts of a finished consumer product. Okay. And the mark communicates that the UL, that UL has evaluated it for use in a complete product or system. And this could include power supplies, insulation materials, just to give an idea. This is very important. Let's say I'm developing a new consumer electronic product, right? Why should I bother to like, we, should I really spend my time and money to develop a new power supply? an AC adapter, I could maybe use one from an existing brand. That might be better because I save time on product development and also on testing, right? This is when you will recognize component is relevant. 
Because my understanding is that, okay, you may need to do partial testing because still you're plugging them together, you're changing the system in that sense. So I'm not saying that you're going to get away completely, but it's at, oftentimes at least, my understanding is that you can do partial testing. It can still save you a lot of money. So that's why this mark is important. And keep in mind, none of these marks, you can't just get it tested and just slap it on the product. You still need to go through. There are more requirements, okay? There are more to it that I'm sharing in these slides. But for that, you need to go and take Jewel. In this video, I'm just giving you a very high level overview of the different types of Jewel marks and certification schemes and what they mean. But just to be very clear, there's, just, there's a lot more to this. You can't just go and use Jewel symbols. Um, I mean, I'm not even using them, right? Just because it's compliant with the Jewel standards. You still need to go through a, a, a program. Okay. Is Jewel certification mandatory? And by this, I'm referring to all of these different programs. Well, Jewel certifi certification is generally voluntary, but products must be safe when you sell them in North America, in the United States, in Canada. And UL certification gives you a pathway to achieve that. And that's what this is all about. Something I mentioned in a different video is, is, is well, a story of the, the power banks. No, sorry, that was the hoverboards. Late 2015, Christmas uh, 2015, I think. You may even recall that. And you had these, these hoverboards just exploding all over the world. Mostly originated from Shenzhen. And what Amazon did was they, they, just, they just pulled this. They just, just wiped them. All sellers got completely wiped, completely shut down. And they had 30 days to provide, I think it was UL 1642 testable or something like that. Now, UL compliance certification, or if it's just testing, is, is voluntary, meaning that it's not a, say, requirement. Like you can, could still ship products that are non compliant with UL standards into, say, the US. But in the end, if something happens, you're looking at a recall, or maybe worse, if someone is injured or if someone dies. I mean, imagine a battery fire, a whole family can die, a whole building can go up, like, like which happened with Grenfeld in, in the UK. Okay, that wasn't because of a hoverboard, but point is, you know, um, this can end, this can really, electronics in general can trigger horrendous, horrendous accidents, okay? You don't want to, you want to do your utmost as an importer, as a brand, as a manufacturer. And UL certification is one pathway to, to achieve this, to achieve safety, to verify your product is safe. And this is really leads me to, to, to the benefit. Why, what are the benefits of UL certification if it's, not, if, it's, if, it's, if it's actually voluntary? Why should I spend this money? Because it can really be quite a bit of money, thousands of, thousands of dollars. Especially if you want to go through one of the, these, these, if you want to use the marks. Well, it helps you to verify if the product is safe. That's, again, you know, it's not like you're just doing consumers a favor here. It's also for you, it's about your liabilities, the risks, the financial risks, and well, I, should I perhaps also say moral uh, responsibility? So uh, there's that. Then it's also the matter of uh, consumers and retailers and Amazon that, value sometimes require UL certification. I don't think Amazon, they do make UL standards mandatory. That's different from saying that UL certification is mandatory. That's one step beyond, okay? You can comply with UL standards without uh, having the product certified, okay? I wanna clarify that. Um, because UL certification in all its forms, listing, classification, recognized component, it goes beyond that, okay? It goes beyond that then you need to participate in a program, which is a different thing. But in any case, retailers, they value that. Some even consider products that are UL marked, okay? So yeah, um, these are some reasons why you should consider UL certification. Okay, um, hope I answered some of your questions at least. And if you have more questions, then I suggest that you write a comment on YouTube or you go to compliancegate.com.